Okay, here goes for nothing. So this is my first official uh, YouTube video. It's been 16 months in the making. So I thought I would try and get us caught up. We're not gonna get completely caught up, but at least a little caught up to where I am right now. And then based on you know your feedback and your input, we can figure out where to go from here. So let me get my coffee. Did you have your coffee? All right, or something stronger. It's gonna take a while. So. In 2020, God, I get, I get so confused with the years. We kind of lost two years there. In 2020, I was in New York City uh, with COVID and my best friend passed away. That's quite the opening, right? So in August, my best friend, John, passed away. And I'd always kind of jokingly said to him because he was planning on moving to Asbury. So when you leave New York City, I'm out. And so, a, you know, several things came together. John passed away. My building that I was renting in was going to be sold. So I was going to have to move anyway um, at the end of the year. And I'm like, why am I paying all this rent? New York was completely still on lockdown. And I've been kind of toying with this idea of writing my next book about getting older. Because it may have been said here, uh, turn your pain into your passion. And then maybe a profit. <laughs> You know, because girls got to pay the rent and then, you know, be able to pay that back with purpose. So long story short, fast forward to December of 2022, 2020, I sold everything. And there's a little bit of that video going to follow right now. So that's the first part of this story. And then I'll come back. So the first part of this little video is me basically unpacking everything. And I was going to put everything in storage. Here's the little first tidbit. I was gonna put everything in storage. And by the time I got to the third box, I couldn't remember what was in the first box. I'm like, this is ridiculous. So using Facebook Marketplace, thank you, Sir Hitzman, for the, the connection. I basically sold everything. It was like having a drug deal, but with furniture down on 77th Street on the Upper West Side. Sold everything, got a small storage unit in the Bronx. There's a couple of pictures of me there. I didn't, don't think I videotaped that one. Sold everything, kept a few things in the Bronx, and then I think it was like December 2nd, I got a one-way one -way ticket to my sister's in Florida. So the first video, the first part of this video is just me packing in New York City. I have no idea, it was kind of random. It was gonna be my first YouTube video, so here we are 16 months later. I'm gonna throw that in and then see what we need to pick up to get you caught up on this video. Okay, here we go. All right, so I was planning some fancy like intro to uh, my first my first video, but this is it. I'm gonna start my storytelling on my floor in New York City. It's about two weeks before I leave. <clears throat> and originally I was gonna get like a 10 by 10 storage unit near JFK and put all my stuff in there and then take off for like a year, year and a half, and then come back and whatever and decide, am I gonna be in New York? I don't think so. I'm gonna be West Coast more than likely. <clears throat> or maybe I, who knows? And then I had a moment of clarity I'm like, what the hell? I'm storing stuff that I had packed all these boxes and by the time I packed them, I couldn't even remember what was in them. So obviously they were not that important. And most of them were books. Okay, we, we gotta get over them. Oh, I have to get over my books. So I decided I'm gonna start selling stuff. Oh my God, Facebook Marketplace. Thank you, Sue Hitzman, amazing. But you know what? It's also really, it's so much freaking harder to decide what's really important to you than just putting everything into storage. So I am two weeks away. Today is November 17th, 2020. And I have a one-way ticket to Florida. Not that dramatic right now. The dramatic stuff starts like mid next year. But I have a one-way ticket to Florida and it's gonna be myself and two suitcases. And some camera equipment yet to be decided. I'm still watching all the YouTube travelers to see what I need to take with me. So this is the beginning, people. And if I waited for the perfect entrance, the perfect lighting, I also got to get really used to being on camera without any makeup and fancy lights because they're not going to come with me on my travels. But a good hat or a good basketball cap, baseball cap solves everything. Um, and then I'm also deciding what do I want to bring with me? Like what things are going to 
like be really comforting. Like probably a picture of my sister, a picture of my mom, a picture of my, my besties, right? Um, I'm loving this mug right now. My friend, uh, my friend's mom, Rini, um, made this, gave this to me like a couple of years ago and I've just started to use it. Maybe there's a mug that I want to bring with me. Maybe a, a favorite candle. I don't know. So this is, this is the beginning of, I don't know. What I do know is that this is something I cannot not do. And what I do know is if I start putting stuff out there, however imperfectly, it's going to hold me accountable to my dreams. Because I have often said, we will give up on our dreams long before they give up on us. So here I am, a woman of a certain age. And my YouTube channel and my, my Instagram is going to be for everybody. But the messaging is going to be slanted to a woman of a certain age. And so people go to me. Like I was having um, uh, something checked out yesterday and this y young girl who's 30, we were talking about what I was about to do. She goes, I'll buy that book. I'm like, you're 30. Uh, she goes, no, but things are changing. I'm like, girl, you got no idea. Uh, you have no idea what's down the road for you. But she was like, yeah, I, I don't, I'm not married yet. I don't have kids. Should I freeze my eggs? I mean, look, I'm not going to be talking about that because my eggs are, are fried and that train has left the station. But... When someone says to me, so what, you know, they say, like, what's your demographic? What's your target market? Who's your avatar? I'm like, I couldn't tell you. But she will know because it'll be that moment when you suddenly walk into the room going, oh, I think I'm the oldest one here. Or someone shares their age and you internally go, my God, I'm old enough to be their mother. Or someone dies. Tell me if this is you. Hopefully it's not yet. Someone dies and you subtract your age from that age that they died. Yeah, I do that. Um, and then that moment you realize you've got more time behind you than ahead of you. Those are hints that you might be this woman. <laughs> so this is the beginning, guys. This is the beginning of celebrating, um, of celebrating getting older, of celebrating the wisdom, um, of celebrating women around the world who have things to say, uh, who have things to share who have stories that can help us all. So I hope you will uh, come along with me for the journey. The, the videography at the beginning is going to be awful. I'll just tell you that right now. It's going to get better. Uh, the editing is going to be pretty rough, I'm sure. It's going to get better. The storytelling is going to be a little uh, jagged to begin with, but it's going to get better as things get better with age, right? So I just wanted to, this is the beginning. Um, I was practicing my fancy entrances, just not happening right now. And I'll be back. I'll be back on this floor when things have been sold or donated or given away. And thank you for coming along with me on this journey, whether you are a woman of a certain age or not. I welcome you all. Let's go. Okay, I'm back. I figured if we got to catch up where we left off and it was sitting on the floor in my New York apartment. Oh my goodness, people. And now I'm sitting on the floor in Ponte Vedra, Spain. Where do we begin? So I'm going to try and keep it in alignment with this particular video. We have a gap year when I was traveling in the US. We're not going to cover that right now, but let me get you caught up on a couple of things. I took notes. Um, okay. So I did insert a little piece of the very small things I'm bringing with me. I decided not to bring a mug. So wherever I am, I have the, the mug of the Airbnb. By the way, this Airbnb is so fantastic. I've already booked to come back after my trip to Morocco, but that's the whole other story. I don't travel candles, I buy them. So I buy the candles, but you saw, I have a picture of my dear friend, John. I have a picture of my friend, my dear sister. I don't know where that is right now. I need to get another one. And, and little memories of little, um, there's some sea glass that I found in Baja, Mexico when I was at the Modern Elders Academy. So there was that. So that's what I decided to travel with. Now, in terms of buying the camera and the fancy equipment, oh yeah, this girl, we did that. See this case? So we bought the fancy equipment, I'd say, not when I left, maybe six months, no, before I left the States, um, a long time ago. And um, have we used it? No. So still, oh, I need to put this lens back on. Hold on. Give me one second. Why is that not on right? Hold on. That's not good. Oh, here we go. 
Okay. See, glad, glad I checked in with you guys. So there's that. And then, oh, my trouble is you don't know what you don't know till you know. And so I bought this gorgeous, gorgeous lens. And so it's zoom, but it's, it's kind of heavy. So, um, I really should be using this to film this. And right now I'm still using my zoom, just keeping it real. So my, one of my goals this year is to really figure out how to use the camera, how to figure out the sound. And I will just, you know, I'll keep you posted on all of that. So there was that. What other notes did I have? Oh yeah. And I keep saying, right. I kept saying 16 months ago, the editing will get better. The YouTube store will get, nothing's going to get better if it doesn't get out there. So as much as I like to think I'm over this idea of perfection, BS, BS. I haven't gone live. Uh, I haven't recorded so many things because I wanted to have the perfect B-roll. And when you're traveling on your own, it's kind of hard to get. And I didn't always have makeup on. I didn't like the way I looked and blah, de, blah, de, blah. So that's what's going on. And now it's time to get over myself. So here we are right now in Ponte Vedra, Spain. That'll be a whole nother episode. However, what I want to do now is insert, like there was a whole gap year. So I left and I went to my sister's on I think December 2nd, something like that. And then I was in the US pretty much a year. I was bumping around, basically I was mooching off my dear sister Jenny, off my dear, my dear friend Denise in LA. I really owe her big time. And um, then I did a month in my first Airbnb in Salt Lake City. I did a month in New Mexico that I loved. I went to Mexico, uh, Baja Pescadero, a bit north of Baja for the Modern Elders Academy for a month. I loved. Where else did I go? I know there was somewhere else. I went back. Oh, then I went, <laughs> then I became the lady who cat sits. Then a friend of mine in Salt Lake was away for 10 days. And so I went and cat sit for her in Salt Lake again. So that was great. But I did three Airbnbs. Did I do three in? I did Salt so, um I did Salt Lake, I did Santa Fe, well, they're not really an Airbnb, I did Modern Elders Academy. I will do those stories as standalones and fill-ins as we go along, because uh, that's kind of the America stop gap. But there were some big lessons there. One of, one of them, when I first landed in my first Airbnb in Salt Lake City, not, thank goodness, Okay, so originally I was going to go to Thailand as my first place. I was going to do the eat, pray, love, you know, finding myself for women of a certain age. Thank God I didn't. That had to get canceled, obviously, because of COVID. Um, so I went to Salt Lake. I freaked out in Utah. I mean, I got so uncomfortable in that first Airbnb, and I'll fill that in later. It was nothing to do with the Airbnb. It was just where it was. It was the sense. It was the smells. It was like really being a grown up and doing this thing. So thank goodness it wasn't in Thailand. So the time I actually go to Thailand next year, you know, I'm sure I'm gonna have moments of freak out, but I'll be a lot, well, much better versed in Airbnb. For example, this one, I had no idea where it was and I booked it because it was on sale and I just loved it. And then I thought, is it too good to be true? It's not, it's better than I expected. And I've already booked it again for five days. Um, so I'll do a whole big catch up on Spain and, and Portugal and Barcelona, but I'll, um, I'll do those separately. What you're going to see now is me leaving the state. So we're going to take December 2nd. No, let's go back. So whatever that date that I just mentioned was sitting on the floor in New York, then I move my stuff into storage. And then I went to my sister's one way ticket. Fast forward almost a year. Uh, what was the date? See, this is why I have to get caught up because the dates get good. No, it was after my sister's birthday. I think November 22nd, 23rd, I had a one-way ticket to Barcelona. This is me doing that travel story, just the travel part, not Barcelona, just me leaving the US, arriving in Barcelona, getting my airplane footage for the first time, and basically shooting everything on my iPhone. I did get the iPhone 13 because it's pretty spectacular. And that's where we go now. Okay, so where is the camera on this phone? This is what I'm doing for my first 
my first vlog, right? Figuring out where do I talk to you? Is it here? Is it here? Is it? No, it's not there. Is it here? Let's see. Okay, let the games begin. So already, I have the wrong equipment out to start video. I gotta start my blogging, right? So I'm here at JFK. Anxiety's not even the beginning of this. It's kind of crazy. I, uh, I'm kind of right now going, what the hell am I thinking? What the hell am I thinking? Who do I think I am to have the guts to travel off to Europe for a year? Anyway, first lesson, don't have the right equipment out, don't have the right holder out for my camera, my expensive camera that I spent so much money on, I don't know how to use yet. So I'll let the games begin. This is gonna be my first or second vlog on YouTube, vlog. So we can really, hopefully over the next year, see how far I can go. Okay, I'm taking my mask off for a little bit and let's see if I can remotely look like I'm talking to you guys. Anyway, so I have a five hour layover and I got this great idea from a really amazing friend of mine, Lisa Wheeler, when she flew in to get her mile status. Um, gosh, two years ago now, if not three years ago now. So I am meeting a couple of buddies of mine for a send off brunch. It's one of my dear friend's birthday. So we're gonna, oh. Oh, it's piped in music too. So anyway, it's anxiety, more than excitement right now, just being honest. Gotta learn my equipment, gotta learn how to do Final Cut, gotta learn how to dance to the music, baby. Anyway, on my way, here we are, JFK, first of two legs. So here we are, we're gonna be uh, heading into the TWA Hotel very shortly. Um, I can't even begin to say what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I hope it doesn't rain because I had to make my way back to the terminal later. I do not want to get on my flight late it's raining. Oh, I don't have my brolly in this bag. Anyway, we're on the way. I promise these will get better, I promise. That was me on the first day of going to JFK, flying from my sisters to JFK, having that layover with my dear friends, Jenny and Dory, and then arriving in Barcelona. So next week, I'll be back with all of Barcelona, all the feels of that first week of when I was now doing this internationally, not in the US, not just a quick three hour plane ride away, but you know, different languages, different, first Airbnb, navigating um, things when you don't speak the language, and that will be next week. 
So what's coming up for me when I watch this? And, you know, it wasn't that long ago. It was like November 22nd, 23rd, November, December, January, February, March. It's like four months. If I knew how I was going to feel on that plane ride, I don't think I'd be here today. I just don't. That feeling of anxiety was just um, almost overwhelming. And I'll share more next week, but when I first got to Barcelona, <laughs> I really was ready to turn around and just call it quits and just swallow my ego and say, yeah, I tried it for a day and I'm back, but I didn't. So we'll do that next week. Thank you for getting caught up. Thank you for being a part of this journey. And um, yeah, first video done. A little later than we had anticipated, like 16 months, but we're starting. And that is, that's the message for this week, right? Just start. And Sometimes ignorance on fire is a good thing because had I really known how I was going to feel the first month, probably wouldn't be sitting here today. Anyway, I'm so glad I didn't know what to expect because so much of it has been better than I'd expected. And I'm so grateful to be sharing this journey with you. I'll be back next week with Barcelona. Don't forget, if you like this, please subscribe and share because that's how this girl is going to keep her asana on the road. Big love and thank you.